it's becoming increasingly clear that the age of highly networked air-launched munitions that can swarm together and work as a team is rapidly approaching. This is not just about big cruise missiles. Even the most diminutive of smart weapons could be adapted to become part of an undulating, rapid-reacting network of disparate munitions that work cooperatively to accomplish a set of goals and directives. MBDA's Select Precision Effects at Range Capability 3, Spear 3, Mini Cruise Missile, a weapon that itself was adapted from the Brimstone Short Range Air to Ground Missile, is now getting an electronic warfare variant that will work alongside its traditional brethren to shatter enemy air defenses and to protect launching aircraft and even other missiles from their deadly reach. MBDA's Spear 3 is a standoff precision guided munition that uses some of the same components found in the company's successful Brimstone short range air to ground missile. Adding a pair of pop out wings and a small turbojet engine, Spear 3 is able to fly an estimated 85 miles to prosecute smaller targets, including those on the move, in any weather, day, or night. It does this via leveraging a tri mode seeker capable of radar, infrared, and laser homing. The missile is capable of autonomously picking out targets once it flies to the target area, or the target can be data linked to the missile via the launch platform sensors, or from third-party sensor information the aircraft receives from its own data links. The missile can also strike a target via laser guidance, whether that be from a party of the ground nearby or an aircraft overhead the target area. The American GBU-53B Small Diameter Bomb II, better known as Stormbreaker, uses a very similar tri-mode terminal guidance package and also includes GPS inertial navigation and a data link system for mid-course guidance, just like Spear 3. So, overall the two weapons are similar in many respects, but Spear 3 has nearly double the range and can reach its targets faster than the unpowered Stormbreaker glide bomb. Weight and dimensions wise, they are similar as well. It isn't clear if Stormbreaker's 105 pounds warhead is substantially larger than Spear 3's. One would assume this would be the case as Spear 3 has to accommodate an engine and fuel, while Stormbreaker does not. If the warhead from Brimstone is carried over, it is substantially smaller than the one found on Stormbreaker, but it's still very capable of blasting through heavy armor and taking down small fortified structures, as well as softer targets. Just with its standard capability set, Spear 3 is one potent missile that will benefit 4th generation and 5th generation fighters alike. The F-35 is slated to be able to carry 4 in each of its bays, while still retaining room for a meteor air-to-air -air missile in each bay, as well. 4th generation tactical fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon will be able to carry 3 to Iraq externally. The recent announcement from MBDA that they will be developing an electronic warfare variant of their mini cruise missile of sorts alongside their partners Leonardo is not only highly logical, it also has the potential to drastically increase the tactic set, survivability, and capabilities of the baseline Spear 3 itself. Named Spear U, this adaptation will work as a jammer and decoy missile to distract, blind, and spoof enemy air defense systems in a similar manner as America's miniature air launch decoy JX, Mold JX, but with more of a tactical focus due to its far shorter range and with the more distinct goal of working with its kinetic, high explosive armed cousins directly.
Spear U could be used to help protect friendly fighters moving through a threat corridor by executing electronic attacks on threatened emitters, or to assist fighters acting in the wild weasel role to get close enough to destroy air defenses directly with shorter ranged munitions. But where they could really shine is when they are used in concert with conventional Spear 3 missiles in the cooperative destruction of enemy air defenses, dead, roll. By pairing Spear 3s with Spear U's in a fully networked fashion, the Mini Cruise missiles can work as a swarm to shatter critical parts of the enemy's air defense network. For instance, Spear U could spoof or jam an enemy threat emitter, while Spear 3s search for and destroy not just the emitter, but all the components of the SAM site arranged nearby. Spear U could also provide electronic warfare screening on the fly for Spear 3s that are trying to make their way to a set of targets between the launch aircraft and the surface threater threats. By detecting a pop-up threat on its own or via data link from the launch aircraft, Spear U could act in real time to suppress the threat so that the rest of the horde of missiles can make it to their target areas safely. It's also quite possible that Spear U could be used kinetically even in just a hit-to-kill manner. Punching a hole in a threatening radar dish equals a mission kill. No explosive warhead is needed if it can home in directly on the radar emissions source, or if it has GPS coordinates of that source data linked to it by a third-party aircraft, such as the fighter that launched it. In other words, once its jamming job is done, it may be able to make a kill run at the emitter it was targeting. That is if a standard Spear 3 isn't retargeted in real time via the data link network to kill the emitter first. In fact, Spear U could possibly be programmed to request a retargeting of the Spear 3 autonomously depending on the nature of the threat and the commands it has to work off of from the launching aircraft. It's also possible that Spear U may retain Spear 3's warhead. If that is the case, it could be used as a suppression of enemy air defenses, seed, weapon, prosecuting kinetic strikes on threat emitters as requested in lieu or in addition to jamming them. Spear and Spear U represent a truly exciting combined capability that can change the way tactical aircraft prosecute their missions over the battlefield. Although some will underline how they give fourth generation fighters a much needed boost in survivability, the payoffs are also potentially very big for the F 35, which will receive Spear 3 capability as part of its upcoming Block IV upgrade. Although it is hard to spot by some radars, the F-35 has retained key countermeasure systems found on fourth-generation fighters, such as fiber-optic towed decoys, and soon it will also have the ability to launch chaff countermeasures. Being able to fire off a standoff jamming missile, whether to help its launch platform survive or to help other munitions get to their targets, is a huge edge that could really make the Joint Strike fighter much more lethal in while. Even firing one off as the F-35 exfiltrates from enemy territory, where its less stealthy rear would be exposed to enemy radars, could be a tactic that means the difference between life and death. The Spear U could loiter and draw threat radars and even enemy missiles away from the F-35 as it accelerates to safety.